This is a powerful stock screener you can build in Google Sheets to help you find valuable stock investments in no time. With thousands of stocks available out there that you can invest in, finding the right company for you to invest in can feel like finding a needle in a haystack. That's where the Google Finance Stock Screener comes in. Your powerful tool to filter and find stocks that meet your specific criteria. Stick with me and by the end of the video, you're going to be screening stocks like a pro and possibly finding the next best investment opportunity for you. The first step is to get the list of stocks you would like to analyze. You have two options. The first is to go on Google and find a stock list that meets your specific criteria. So for example, semiconductor stock list. This is absolutely free. Just be sure to use the Google Finance ticker system. The second option is to use the Ysheets add-on to get stock lists that meet your specific criteria like this. Step two is to gather the data you like to filter by. Again, you have two options. The first is to use the Google Finance function that's built in like this. Keep in mind, as you can see, this only allows you to pull in live and historical price data, as you can see in the documentation. But it won't allow you to use advanced filters such as financial, key metrics, dividend data, and more. For that, you need option two, which is using the Y Sheets add-on that works on Excel and Google Sheets to get data just like you're seeing right now by simply selecting the stock list and the data that you would like to get. To see all the data available, visit this page. Now for the data available that you can see right here, there's different time periods that you can access. So one of them is LQ, this stands for the latest fiscal quarter. You can also do LQ minus one, which would be the previous quarter. The same applies to LY, except LY is the latest fiscal year. You can also enter a specific year and a specific quarter. You can also just enter a year you can also use TTM which is very very powerful as in this case this represents the P ratio based on the latest price available and the EPS of that particular company. The third step is to filter through the data. For this, make sure to select all of your data and this can include hundreds and hundreds of uh, different parameters and different tickers that you include. And then after that, click right here where it says create a filter. After this, you can sort by the highest to the lowest and you can also sort by specific criteria. So for example, selecting companies where the current ratio is greater than two. The fourth step is to apply conditional formatting that you can see right here. Simply highlight the data you would like to see better, in this case, the return on invested capital, then click on format and select conditional formatting. From here, you can set rules to more easily see specific values. For example, if a company's return on invested capital is greater than 20%. The fifth step is to refresh the data every so often to ensure your information is up to date. For that, open the add-on, navigate to the screener section, get data section, and the bucket that you have created has a button where you can press it at any time to refresh the data. And that's how you can build a powerful stock screener to help you find investment opportunities fast. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.